Hey kids, Inverted Cal here. Welcome back to The Long Dark. Uh, where are we here? Well, we just stepped into the trailer at the um, top of the thing at Coastal Highway here. Um, we're fairly close to being dead. Uh, we're not, not doing too good in a lot of ways. Um, survived now a little more than 25 days. So we're doing not bad. Um, so back to the game here. Uh, we are thoroughly exhausted, ravenous, like exceptionally hungry, and we have absolutely no food. Um, so things are not looking great for our hero. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, saved Hope by the candy bar. Anymore. Um, yeah, I hope nobody needs it either because you're about to eat it as soon as I remember what button makes you eat. <clears throat> eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. 541 calories. Not enough to do anything, but wow, I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, I know there's a book sitting here that I could have used for firewood last episode, and I saw that afterwards. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to remember what button does what, and we're going to drop some of the surplus that we're carrying right now, um, because we don't need to carry all of this. Carrying some extra tools that we can drop. A spare sleeping bag. Uh, a bunch of these flares can be dropped. This until we fire the gun, find the gun for it. I can stay here. Um, knife, one knife we can drop. Fuel, one of the pry bars, the gun king kit, sewing kit. Okay, um, some of these packs matches. The lantern I want to hang on to, the rifle I want to hang on to, the bow and arrows I want to hang on to. These arrow shafts, we can probably safely drop these. Um, Yeah, I'm going to hate the fact that I just dropped all those on the floor, but um, that's what we got. And all of this crap. Uh, drop this. Drop. You know what? Let's find an inventory to stuff these in, because some of those are going to be a pain in the tuchus. I don't want to sit there and click for 41 clicks. They can go in there. This can go in there. All of those. All of this. That. And all of that. Okay, and we're just going to drop the rest of that junk. <clears throat> Probably gonna regret it, but if I don't sleep this guy at all a little bit, I um, I probably won't survive getting out of the door. If I give it two hours of rest, it's 
It's going to put me outside at night, but... And that brought us up to 31%. We're drained, so we're not exhausted. And we're still very, very uh, hungry, dealing with uh, some hypothermia, which we still need to remain above freezing for 11 more hours. We gotta survive 11 more hours. All right. Amazing how you can be looking straight out the door and then move to the left a little bit and not be able to see anything. Search that drawer. Okay, the inventory can wait here. Um, everything that else is here that can stay here. <sighs> we have to continue to search and see if we can find some food. His tummy is past growling. <laughs> now, there is a path down here. Oh, I got some sprint back again. That's so nice. Okay, that's not a path. Ordinarily, I would just simply rest him for the rest of the night and call it a good day. But I'm trying to find... Does this look like a road to you? Yes. Oh, there goes our sprint. So that's what we had left. And once again, this is a good spot where skis would be nice. Even though I don't recommend skiing at dark in an unfamiliar terrain. Um, but theoretically, there might be some cabins and stuff around here. Hoping to find something else. Okay. Bridge. <clears throat> yeah, if we're lucky, we'll manage to find something without getting attacked or mauled by a pack of wolves or a herd of angry bears or something. And no sooner did we say that than... The f oh, somebody's gonna die. I don't know if it's gonna be him. Three, two,
one. Zero. Thanks very much for watching, kids. <sighs> See you next episode. I don't know if I'm going to do any more of the long dark. I'm probably going to do a review, suggestions and such um, that I wanted to do. So probably going to be one or two episodes. It's just going to be me going over a few suggestions that I wanted to post on the forums, um, that sort of thing. But, killed by the God Pounding Wolves. Yeah. Simply cannot survive this game without being attacked by wolves continuously. And I didn't even have food on me to attract them, so you tell me how that happens. Ah, but the current sandbox, we had 25, 24% of the world explored, 38 locations. Averaging, averaging a 3,200 calories a day. And let's see here. 23 days in Mystery Lake. Shot 15 times. Hit 8. Yeah, a couple of those shots were the, if you remember correctly, the amazing wolf of amazingness, the stupendous wolf of stupendousness, and the uh, super wolf of superness that basically I could have put a bullet into his head from point blank range, which I did, and he dodged. 100% dodge count. Yeah. <clears throat> Haven't found the distress pistol yet, so none of those shots were ever taken. Close encounters of 26 wolves, six complete struggles, and I won only two of them. I don't know what they consider to be a victory for winning them, but basically if I survive, yeah. Six distracted decoys, 11 wolves killed. And eaten. <laughs> um, four can openers found. There's an interesting statistic. 17 hour fire. Four times with hypothermia and survived nine whole blizzards. All right, there we go. Thanks for watching. Not sure what I'm gonna do for the rest of the series that I was supposed to do this week, but hey, that's life, that's how it goes. Like I said, I'm gonna to try to put a couple of episodes together, maybe uh, a review kind of deal, that sort of thing. So, thanks for watching. Good night for now.